In today's lesson on analytical geometry, we are having a look at circles where the equation is not given in the standard form. In the second lesson on analytical geometry, we saw that the standard form for the equation of a circle is x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equal to r squared. We can, however, also go and multiply out those brackets and give you the equation in this form. Unfortunately, if you are given this second form, you cannot directly read from it the coordinates of the center of the circle or the length of the radius or radius squared, and therefore we will have to rewrite it into the original form. And that we do by completing the square. If you are not familiar with completing the square, you can go and have a look at the grade 11 equations and inequality video 3. Example 1. Determine the radius and the coordinates of the center of the circle with equation x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 2y minus 6 equals 0. So to be able to see the coordinates of the center, we need to rewrite this into the standard form. And we will do this by following the same few steps every time. Our first step is to rearrange and we're going to put all the x terms together the y terms together, and the constant on the right. So we will have x squared minus 6x plus y squared plus 2y equals 6. And now we are going to follow the steps of completing the square twice. And that is to take half of x's coefficient squared and adding it on both sides. And then we are going to repeat this for y's coefficient. And this process now ensured that our first three terms will factorize into a bracket squared. And the same goes for our second three terms factorizing into a bracket squared. And for this, I take my squared terms without their squares and put them in the brackets. And on the right, all we have to do is simplify. Now we have our equation back into the standard form so we can immediately see the center and the radius. So our center will be at 3 minus 1 and our radius will be 4. Let's have a look at another example. Example 2. Determine the radius and the coordinates of the center of the circle with the equation x squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 8y equals minus 8. Our first step will be to rearrange. So we are going to have x squared plus 2x plus y squared minus 8y equals minus 8. And now I'm going to add half of x's coefficient, which is 1, squared on both sides. So I will add 1 squared. And I'm also going to take half of y's coefficient. So half of minus 8 is minus 4 squared, and I will add that on both sides. And now everything on the left will factorize. So my first three terms will definitely factorize into a bracket squared, and that will be x plus 1. And my second three terms will also factorize into a bracket squared. And that will be y minus 4. On the right, I can simplify, and that will give me 9. Therefore, I can say that my center will be minus 1, 4, and my radius will be 3.